Hi everyone, welcome back to another whiskey review. Um, tonight, looking at another the single cast bottling. This time, we're looking at a secret Isla because, um, for some reason, um, the single cask hasn't disclosed which Isla distillery it is. Um, so it just says Isla single malt, cask number three. Um, quite often, independent bottlers like the single cask do not reveal which distillery the cask has been released from, which could be for a number of factors. Number one being the distillery doesn't allow the name being used. Um, which is absolutely fine. It still remains being a cinema scotch, but um, they're just not at the liberty to um, reveal what the true identity of the distillery is. So this one here is a 10 years old whiskey, release of 306 bottles, bottled at 58.2% ABV. So starts its life in a bourbon cask, very light in color. But then it's transferred for one year into a, and I had to pull some notes up here, um, in an Alter Ego Red Wine Barrique for a year from Chateau Palmer. Did I say it right? Palmer, but I think it's a P-A-L-M-E-R Palmer, not kind of my last name. But I like how it sort of um, rhymes. So aged in a Red Wine Barrique from Chateau Palmer. Parma, that's it. Got it right. Cool. Um, so my knowledge around um, wine cask types and wineries and wine regions lacks significantly. It's not something I'm interested in. But um, what if what if they've done um, whatever red wine in particular this was from Chateau Parma has had a profound effect on this predominantly smoky peaty whiskey. And added a quite a unique element to it. Let's see. There you go. Can you see there? Um, that's another smoky whiskey, uh, a Kalila. Ten or twelve year old, uh, released by Gordon McFowl, finished in a French red wine cask. Really good. This is along the same lines. Right, let's see what's happening in here. So you can see very light in color. I mean, there's not, it's not a deep red in color. You know, um, I guess it depends on what type of red wine it was as well, but um, it's not definitely, you know, really rich sort of, um, I came across a whiskey the other day from Longro from Campbelltown which has been aged in um, an ex Pinot Noir cask. And it was just blood red. <laughs> it looked like red wine. Obviously, really nice whiskey. And I'm looking forward to review that as well. So coming back to the single cask a la malt, 10 year. PT on the nose, straight away. What I find interesting is it's bottled at a very high ABV, but it's not hitting me on the nose uh, as a... There's no sudden alcohol vapor rising up. Um, lovely, dull, peaty character. Um, there's no medicinal notes, which are known out of Arbeg or Kalila, which is making me think. Um, so I know the guys are single cast really well. I wonder if they'll reveal to me what distillery it was. Or maybe I'll take a guess during the video which distillery I think it might be from. Bit of smoke. Almost like a ripe cherry character on the nose. And that could be from the red wine cask. Mmm. The smoke is coming up more and more now as it's been sitting in the glass. There's a certain um, sort of freshness to it as well, which is quite unique. Freshness as in not as a young whiskey, but um, I can't quite put my finger on it. 
I don't want to say Pepperman. That's not what I'm getting. But um, there's definitely a, a distinct character which I'm quite can't quite put my nose in it. The paint actually has calmed down significantly, and more of that gentle smoke is coming up. Just uh, I'll give it a try. See what happens. Mm. Smoke. Wow. Intense smoke followed by amazing sweetness in different layers. Initially, I thought it was honey. The honey is on the back of the palate. It's lingering. Bit of cherry. There's that crackling again. Maybe it's just me. Maybe there's a problem with my palate. It's making me crackle. Wow. Really nice. Whoa. That smoke hit me. I mean, it's quite, quite a high ABV. It's kind of like one of those... um cartoon moments there's going to be smoke coming out of my ears and nose but um it's calmed down now very nice let's get back in there see what happens in the second sip mm. it's making me drool really nice it's relatively young whiskey 10 years is not a long time for scotch whiskey well it is a lot long time in general but it's quite intense on the palate it's lingering and not just the smoke the effect from the red wine cask is quite intense really nice loads of cherry um maybe a little bit of the honey has sort of gone in the second sip oh, wow. it's just good can't put cherry honey is that do you want to say raisin that's not a raisin maybe it is raisin but yeah the sweetness is there I'll go in one more time, see what happens on the third time. Can you tell I can't get enough of this whiskey? Because <laughs> I really can't. Mm. Loads of honey, not as much as in smoked. It's a bit oaky. And the finish is good. It's lingering, the smoke is there, the PT character is there, kind of, it's lingering, it's lingering, it's still going. So compared to maybe the Kalila I mentioned before, the red wine cask is actually not significant. If anything, it's a bit dull. I think the cherries and the... Uh, the honey would be from the ex-bourbon cask, the smoke and peaty from the barley being peated. But the cherry character and the other sort of raisiny character I was getting was maybe from the red wine. Quite often I've drunk whiskies that have been predominantly, I'm sorry, uh, have been finished in a red wine cask. Um, take on a dull, dry character where this one has stayed true from its first nine years of being in a bourbon cask with the honey and the sweetness, which is good. And then it's sort of, a little bit of that cherry kicked in, which is good. Quite magical. I might as well finish that last little bit. And I'm going to give that to my brother. That's all he gets. That's nice. It's very nice. Once it's gone, it's gone. A single cast release. Bit of a mad experiment. They've chucked it into a red wine cast. See what happens. It turns up good. Really nice. Right, better go. Video is getting too long. Thank you for watching. 
if you're liking the content like share subscribe otherwise i'll see you guys in the near future with another video see you bye